What's up guys, my name is Ticknobber here for Troubleshoot and today I'll be showing you how you can install FFmpeg on Windows 10. It's super simple but not exactly the easiest to do, especially if you haven't done it in the past before. So if you didn't know, FFmpeg does not have a default Windows installer. In fact, if you go and download it, you'll probably get confused between downloading the actual executables and the source code. But there's a super simple way around this. Click the first link in the description down below to get to the FFmpeg page and make sure to hit the big download button. Then hover over the big Windows icon and then where it says Windows Builds, click on it. Now you'll be taken to a different looking page. The top version over here is nightly, may contain more bugs, but usually has more features. The one below it is stable and recommended for use. I like using the nightly builds just to have the best of best performance, even though it might be a slight advantage with a few bugs here and there. I personally haven't found any bugs. Then select the correct architecture, Windows 64, 32 or Mac 64. Then just leave it under static. Then click it download build. It will then download a zip file, which you can just click to open. Once it's open, you'll see a folder like this. Open up the folder labeled FFmpeg, plus a bunch of random numbers after it. And inside of here, open up the bin folder. Open up a second explorer window and navigate to your C drive. Then right click, new folder. We'll name it FFmpeg. Now you can create this folder anywhere on your PC. I just like having it in C. To get to FFmpeg, all you have to do is do C FFmpeg. Drag and drop all of the EXEs out and enter this folder over here. If you go back in the zip file, there's also documentation under doc, which you can look at if you're so inclined. Close the zip and make sure to keep this page open. At the very top, click the URL and Control C to copy. So if we open up command prompt by holding start, pressing R, CMD and hitting enter, if we type in FFmpeg, you can see that the command is not internal or external. It's not recognized. To get FFmpeg working properly in the command line, all you need to do is close all of the open command windows you have open, or if you leave them open, they won't pick up the change until you reopen them. Press start and type in path. Then click on edit the system environment variables. Inside of here at the very bottom, click environment variables. And under the second page over here, which is system variables, scroll down until you see path. Click on it and click edit. Then at the very top right, we see new and paste in the location of FFmpeg. So in my case, C FFmpeg. Hit OK, OK, and then OK. If we open up command prompt again, then you can type in FFmpeg and boom, you can see that it works. If I were to open FFmpeg in any folder on my PC, it'll work the exact same way. So say I've got a video file in here, I could literally click up here, FFmpeg, space minus I, double inverted commas, and in here I could put a file name, and then I could also do double inverted commas and put an output file name. Let me demonstrate that quickly. Here I have a song.flac, which is a audio format. At the very top, if I do FFmpeg, space hyphen I, inverted commas, song.flac, inverted commas, space inverted commas, song.mp3, and close inverted commas and hit enter. I can click run and then you can see that FFmpeg opens and is automatically processing the FLAC file into an MP3 file and boom, it's done. Both of these are playable like usual, a seven minute, 10 second song, also 710. Super simple, super easy to do. And that's about it. Now you can use FFmpeg anywhere on your computer. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Ben Technobo here for Troubleshoots and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.